Hello friends, welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome to all of you that are new here today. In today's video, I am going to be sharing a quick fall refresh on our little front porch. So I hope that you will come along with me as I go through the process of figuring out what I'm going to do and making it all happen. So let's get right into it today. The first thing I'm going to start with today is my door decor. I always feel like door decor is kind of the centerpiece of the porch area. And so I wanted to start with that because that also gives me a lot of inspiration for the rest of my space. Now I have racked my brain trying to come up with something a little different and new for this season, but I didn't want to spend any money. So I also knew I needed to use what I had on hand. Now I finally came up with the idea of incorporating that same chalkboard look that I've used here in my kitchen and over on my dining room table, but I didn't have another one of these chalkboards. So last night as I got out of the car, I checked to see if we had gold spray paint and I did. So I knew I could simply paint the frame of this one and get the look I was going for. While out in the garage, I also grabbed a couple frames I had in my stash, the larger one I thrifted and the smaller one I found at the Dollar Tree. Now, I love the look and the color of both, but I thought maybe I should paint the smaller one to match the frame of the chalkboard to tie it all together and not have so many different golds going on. I also grabbed a couple shatterproof ornaments that I've bought over the years at Walmart. I thought maybe I could incorporate these into the look as well, but I wanted to paint a couple of pieces. When I walked outside, a little one ran off and I saw this branch laying on the ground. So I'm sure she had something to do with that. And with the magic of YouTube, just like that, the paint is dry. I was actually quite impressed with my so-called painting skills today. I think that simple coat of paint on a not so fancy chalkboard did the trick. And I am so glad I decided to paint the smaller frame as well. I think it makes a huge difference in the look. Now, I will be honest, I really don't know where the idea of the frames came into play other than I was having such a hard time figuring out what to do. And I think I ended up meshing two ideas together, but I do love the way the gold frames are popping against the black of the chalkboard. Now, if you are looking for an inexpensive chalkboard that you can maybe spruce up on your own hobby lobby is where i got this one and it is located in the back of the store now it is kind of back by some of the teaching materials i got this one a few years back so i don't remember the price of them but they are much cheaper than the ones that are located in the decor section Now I am making this up as I go along. So finding the placement of the frames took me a little bit, but I ended up thinking I could probably use this foam to help hold things on, like maybe a pumpkin and some greenery. And it'll also give me a place for that ornament that I'm wanting to incorporate into the look. I'm also going to take a few extra steps to adhering everything onto the chalkboard because some of these items like that larger frame are a little on the heavier side. And being this is going on our front door, I want to ensure that it actually stays on the front door. But I will admit each time I glue something else on, I find myself whispering a prayer that it's going to work and come together in the end. 
for the larger frame, I did use some heavier grade command strips. And in my thinking, I thought placing them at the top points of the frame would make for better placement. Not sure why, but that was my thinking. And then I did decide to add in some hot glue as well for some added strength. Then when placing the smaller one on, I tried to place hot glue on all the touch points. Now it's not heavy at all, but I didn't want it to wiggle and work itself loose. Now I know I placed this foam here, but I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. Other than I had hoped a pumpkin would fit and that I could make some greenery look good on it. But it kind of felt a little overwhelming at first. I felt like I ended up with a lot of area to cover, but in the end it really worked out great and I don't feel like it took a lot to get it done. So my first step was to find a leftover stem to insert into my pumpkin to use as stability into the foam. Then I grabbed a few pieces of some of my favorite greenery from Hobby Lobby. I have used this forever. It actually comes in a big kind of spray of sorts and I just cut it down into smaller sections like this and use it everywhere. I especially love it in garlands and in wreaths. I use this at Christmas time when I put my garland up around my mirror and it's working great here. Now the next thing that I wanted to do was incorporate one of the ornaments. I actually had in mind of using them both but ended up just using the black one and I absolutely love it. no idea I would run across this gold wire today. I didn't even remember having it, but it sure came in handy. I thought I would use the little hanger on this ornament so quickly made up some gold curly cues for it, but later decided against them there, but use them as picks instead. I also found some Christmas greenery in my bin and thought it might work well because of the little pine cones that are attached to it. I'm really hoping I can leave this door decor up until I begin decorating for Christmas. So I think it will work out perfectly. Now, I will say for not really knowing what I was going to do at this point, I am loving it. As I add in more greenery pieces, I really don't have a rhyme or reason to it other than making sure to distribute them evenly all throughout the foam. And then going in and making sure that I'm filling in all the little holes as I go along. I also decided to incorporate some of that fall greenery I purchased from Joanne's Fabric this year. I think it added in the perfect color and texture all in one. I love that it brings out that ivory color in the pumpkin. It has small hints of gold in it and then brings in that beautiful 
fall brown and rust colors as well. So I think it's absolutely perfect and I'm so glad I purchased it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in these little blackberries. I found these a couple years ago, I think at Hobby Lobby in their pick section. They went very fast and I'm so glad that I found them when I did and decided to pick them up then because I've used them in all different areas around the house and I think they pop so well here. So I think it's the perfect place for them. Now, of course, you know me and moss. I did decide to go ahead and incorporate some onto the pumpkin. I think it's just going to give it more of a dimension and also bring that greenery off of the chalkboard and onto the pumpkin itself. Now again, taking into consideration the layers on this board, the fact that it has some heavier items on it, and it is going on our front door, I did decide to add some extra security to it for hanging. By stapling this first piece of ribbon here, I can use it on my lower command hook that is placed on our front door. And then I will add a smaller hoop to the top of the frame to hook onto the higher command hook. That way it is less apt to be knocked around and things come loose. Thankfully, I just cleaned off our door and our gate, so I'm not really having to do too much cleaning. I'm just going to simply dust things up really quick and call it good. Now, I did want to point out my command strips. I know a lot of people say that they don't stay on in the heat, but we have some pretty hot days here. In fact, it was 102 yesterday. You know, that perfect fall weather. Another thing I always have here on my door are those little sticky dots I've mentioned before. I like using them to keep my door decor in place. And once again, they seem to do really well out here in the heat and in the cold. This one was still sticky enough to use yet again, and it has been here since last Christmas. As you can see, I was trying so hard to find the perfect spot for my tassel here, but it just didn't fit. So I'll just have to find another place for it later. So I decided to work backwards today and break out the blower after I dusted my door down because that was good thinking. ahead and use this greenery once again as well. I did have it on my last wreath but thought it would look good here and act as the perfect filler for my little pumpkin basket. I love the look 
and texture that all three of these pumpkins brought into this space. But I did decide to embellish the white one just a little bit because I wanted to tie in what I had done to the door decor into the rest of the space. So some moss it is, but I did lose some footage putting it together. All I did was hot glue it on this time to make sure that it all stayed in place because it is going outdoors. And because I used that grapevine pumpkin on the other side, I wanted to see if I could incorporate my wreath to this side of the porch. Again, tying it all together. So I simply propped it up between both planters. I was able to kind of embellish it with my fern and it also gave me the perfect spot for some pumpkins and a splash of elegance as well. Being completely honest with you, this took me about 480,000 hours to complete. <laughs> I wanted to scream. The pumpkins fell out, oh, I don't know, a trillion times and downright made me angry. In true fashion with the day, we will clean the planters after getting the pumpkins to finally stay in place because that makes it so much easier. I was going to steal my lanterns from out back, but decided to grab these beauties out of my bin to bring in more of that gold look. But I did steal my outdoor candles from the backyard to put them in these. Okay, I have a few little embellishments. I want to see if I can incorporate them into the space. So let's see what we can do. I think I found the perfect spot for my tassel and that small piece of trim. And then I decided to go ahead and add in some of those blackberries here as well. After that, all that was left were a couple more pieces of the berries, making the white pumpkins the perfect spot for those. As I stepped back and took a quick look at my little porch area, I can say I smiled. I was so happy with my little refresh and I feel like it is a true improvement over my last and as i stood there with that smile spread across my face my hope is that's what others would feel as they approached our home this season for i know a smile will put them at ease they will feel greeted before we even meet them at the door that smile will put them in the realm of already feeling welcome and hopefully communicate that we appreciate them being here. 
this way the get together has already begun on a high note because that joyful spirit will carry on and over the threshold and be met with our eager anticipation of them being here and will only serve to enhance that joy and we will have a wonderful time together. Psalms 126 and 2 says, Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. I believe first impressions are so very important and that goes for our front door as well. Our home tells our story and lets others know a little bit about us at first glance. I want to always try to make our story one of love, joy, trust, compassion, and hope because we as humans crave connection to one another and by breaking down those walls of insecurities doubts fears and even flaws it might help us to put our differences aside and celebrate having each other as friends As I begin to bring this video to a close, I want to thank each and every one of you for sticking around to the end. If you did enjoy today's video and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider becoming a part of our little Graceful Living family. But for now, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.